don't stack the dollar Now I've just set up a Bitcoin node at home. And yeah, basically gonna tell you about the whole process. So first of all, what is a Bitcoin node? Well, a Bitcoin node is a computer that's running the Bitcoin software. And it takes, it took mine about a week to download and update because basically when you join the network as a new node you've got to download the entire Bitcoin blockchain from day one so you download the currently over 900,000 block blockchain which is almost a terabyte of data you download that onto your node and then it automatically stays online and updates whenever a new block is found by miners. So <clears throat> you have an entire copy of the Bitcoin blockchain, every single transaction ever on the ledger, every single block ever found, you've got a copy of that on your node. And currently there's about 25,000 nodes running all over the world. So what's the point? You might say, what's the point of running a node? You know, do you get paid for it? Because it's not mining. You're not mining for new blocks. You're just running a node. Well, a node basically enforces the rules. You can see it as like a a security guard at a, a gig or something like that the node makes sure that the rules are being kept and also that the bitcoin that you are sending uh, is legit it's been verified how does it know it's been verified because you'll be able to check according to your copy of the blockchain that yeah this is legitimate bitcoin this came from here which came from here which came from here and it was mined here and you'll verify that with other nodes yep yeah, this all seems legitimate boom your transaction has been confirmed so it's a form of verification really and the point of it because you don't get paid for it is you can verify your own transactions so you don't need to trust or use anybody else's node or any third party's verification to verify your own transactions which aligns with the bitcoin ethos in terms of don't trust verify you can verify it yourself. And it also helps to decentralize the network. So you can see it as planting a tree. You know, you don't, you don't necessarily get much from it, but the more trees that are planted helps the Bitcoin ecosystem grow. It helps decentralize the network. You've got more computers making sure that everybody's following the rules so the more decentralized the network is the more secure it is the more secure it is the more people are going to use it and transact on it and the more people that use it more people that want bitcoin the value of it goes up due to the finite nature of it there's going to be less to go around and if the value goes up more people are going to want to use it. If more people use it, more nodes come online. If more nodes come online and more people start mining as well, it decentralizes the network more, which will add more security. And if it's more secure, more users, etc., etc., etc. So it just stimulates the Bitcoin ecosystem. You're contributing 
to help secure the network. So I've gone for the most budget node I could find, which is basically a Raspberry Pi, which is a really stripped down, simple mini computer, dedicated computer with a two terabyte hard drive attached, which is where I store the blockchain file on. Um, and the blockchain is currently about 900 gig. So you need two terabyte really, because it's just gonna keep growing and growing. Every 10 minutes on average, a new block is added and it's gonna keep being added every 10 minutes on average forever. So I've gone for the Raspberry Pi and two terabyte hard drive. I'm running knots. Um, now, and I'm running it through an umbral as well, which is like an operating system on the computer itself. Now I'm running knots purely because my two mates that I know who also run nodes, run knots. So nothing more deep than that really. I'm not, uh, technical enough to fully understand the whole knots core debate. I'm just running it because my mate that helped me set it up runs knots. <laughs> now I'm not technical enough to do a guide through, but I will link a video in the description of a good setup if you want to run a node at home yourself on a Raspberry Pi and I'll link it up here as well, which seems to be a decent setup, which I watched earlier, which is the same steps that I followed through. Now my Raspberry Pi was 60 quid. I also needed something called a heat sink, which is basically like a cooling unit for it, which was 14 quid. The two terabyte hard drive was 76 quid. And then I also needed a caddy, which is a little box for the hard drive as well, which was five. So total cost for the node was 155 pounds, which is actually pretty good, pretty cheap. You can get pre-made nodes, which are plug in and play, which are good for, I guess, beginner, but good for anyone really, but they can be up to 600 quid. So if you want in a budget model, this one seems to be working fine. And it's very cool to see as well because once you're logged in and it's running and it's synced <clears throat> you see all of the latest blocks come in as they get confirmed so on average about every 10 minutes you see the new blocks come in and you're like oh that's cool oh almost fell over you can also see who your node is connected to and i'll put a little clip over when I checked mine just before I came out, mine was connected to like one in Japan, one in New York, few in Europe. And from what I gather, you can see the transactions coming in through your node as well. So say I was to send Bitcoin to somebody and I was to send it through my own node, that node, my own node, would send it out to the 10 or so nodes that I'm connected to and then those 10 would send it to 10 and then those whatever 100 would send it to and it would just spread instantly through the whole network of 25,000 currently nodes and if it's legit it gets confirmed boom 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 yep verified added to the block okay it's in the block waiting to be mined waiting for that block to be confirmed give it 10 minutes boom confirmed your bitcoin has been processed verified you're good to go add it to the blockchain it's there so it's very interesting to see all of that take place in real time if you are a little bit of a nerd and you want to learn more about the whole technical side which i do very interesting so highly recommended if you're interested in running a node my budget setup, Raspberry Pi, hard drive, using Umbral, super easy. You can verify your own transactions. You help decentralize the network. You help make it more secure, which is gonna make more people wanna use it. And it's gonna steamroll from there. So you're planting a tree in the Bitcoin ecosystem. So yeah, good stuff. 
call it a day. See you later. Buy a little lower, try a little harder, stack those sacks, don't stack the dollar. Harder, stack those sats, don't stack the dollar.